Podrick and Brienne return to Winterfell in the aftermath of the Battle of the Bastards, with House Stark once again ruling Winterfell with Jon Snow as the king in the north. They witness Jon's declaration of their coming war against the Night King, and Jon pardoning Houses Umber and Karstark in return for their fealty to House Stark over Sansa's objections. Podrick later trains with Brienne in the Winterfell courtyard but is unable to best her. Tormund appears and momentarily distracts her, allowing Podrick to strike Brienne, who punches him to the ground in retaliation without hurting him seriously. Tormund quips to Podrick that he is a lucky man. Sansa, Bran and Arya, three of the remaining Stark children, proceed back to Winterfell's castle courtyard together, with Arya pushing Bran in his wheelchair. Brienne and Podrick see them from afar, all three of Caitlyn Stark's surviving children reunited. Pod says Caitlyn would be proud of Brienne, but she chides that she did next to nothing. Pod says he disagrees with, my lady, and Brienne starts to correct him that she doesn't consider herself a lady, but then stops halfway and just thanks him for the compliment. Sometime later, Brienne is going through a vigorous sword practice session with Podrick, knocking him down when he overextends himself. Impressed, Arya interrupts and says she'd like to spar with Brienne, the woman who beat the hound in combat. When Sansa sends Brienne to King's Landing to represent her before Cersei, Brienne admits to Sansa that Podrick has become a capable fighter and suggests leaving him in Winterfell to protect her, but Sansa refuses. Upon arriving to King's Landing, Podrick is reunited with Bronn and later with Tyrion Lannister, stating that he is glad to see his former lord again. He accompanies them to the Dragon Pit but does not attend the discussions, leaving with Bronn with Brienne's approval. After the negotiation is ended, he presumably accompanies Brienne back to Winterfell. 